Hello, I'm Kate Dalby of Inspiring Test Preparation in Vienna, Virginia. Today I'll be explaining the 2020 TJSIS math question. Applicants were given 30 minutes to solve the problem and we have posted the question below. As reported to me, TJ gave no instructions on rounding. I rounded to the nearest unit. This year's math prompt was the following. A popular road in California is famous for its steepness and turns. It has been filmed for many car chases. In 1920, the builder decreased the slope from 27% to 14% to fit a 12 to 15% highway requirement. What is the difference between the length of the old road and the new road if the height of the hill is 600 feet? What is the percent increase? If you wish to solve the problem yourself, you have 30 minutes to work on the problem. Do not use a calculator. Yes, the calculations you will find to be quite ugly, but you will have enough time in the time allotted. So stop the video now. In order to solve the problem, I drew two triangles to represent the original road and the new road. I used my understanding of slope to determine the proportional length of the hypotenuse which represents the road. If the rise is 27 and the run is 100, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is c squared, in order to determine the length of the road relative to 27 and 100. Now this will give us a ratio. So 27 squared plus 100 squared will get us 104 squared. And when I did my calculations, I got 103.5 and I rounded up to 104. Now, to, now that will get us 104 and that, belong, that data belongs with the old road. Now the new road has a rise of 14 and we square that and we have a run of 100 and we square that and we will get 101 for its relative ratio. Now remember these are not the lengths of the road but just their proportional lengths relative to the 27 percent grade and the 14 percent grade. And so we can go ahead and we have in this super, we've superimposed the short uh, road over the long road and the short road's relative length is 104 and we have 101 for the new road. So now how do we get the length of the old road and the new road in feet? So we'll go to another screen. Now remember when we on the previous screen when we figured out the um, length of the new road we had a proportion of 14 relative to 100 and got a road length relative road length of 101 and for the old road we had a rise of 27 a run of 100 and a length a relative ratio length of 104 now how do we find the new the old road length well we take the 27 which is the rise and we relate it to the road which is 104 and we set that equal to 600 over x where x is the road length so then we cross multiply get 27 x equals 104 times 600 and then x will equal um, 2,311 feet for the length of the old road. That's 2,311 for the old road. Now we uh, need to calculate the new road and we can do it in the same manner. We have the new road's height of 14 
and that is proportional to its ratio of 101 for the road. And that is set equal to 600 feet for the um, height of the hill, the rise. And so we have 14 is to 101 as 600 feet is to y feet. And that will be 14y equals 101 times 600 when we cross multiply. And so y will equal 4,300 and uh, 28, I believe. Okay, so we can write 4,329, uh, I guess. So obviously I did these calculations beforehand. Now, um, the difference is the new road minus the old road gives us a difference of 2,018 feet. And that is the difference in length. So to find the percent difference, we, divide, we take the difference 2,018 and divide it by the old road, which was 2,311. And when we do that calculation, we get 87%. So that is the, my solution to the 2020 TJ Math SIS problem. Um, and um, the, to, to recap, we've got the new road is uh, 4,329. The old road is 2,311. And the percent difference, uh, the difference of, between the two roads is 2,018. And the percent difference is 87%. So I hope you found that useful. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at inspiringtestprep.com and you may email me questions at kvs, that's K as in Kate, V as in Victor, S as in Sam, at katedalby.com or you may call us at 703-203-5796. Thank you very much.